Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through the settings for melee combat and smart AI. So I've got a melee soldier here in my level and I've just selected the AI component and searched uh, for melee. And that's going to bring up all of our melee settings here. So I'm going to start with the uh, top ones. So first we've got our uh, use melee attack anims and the um, struct for that. This basically, if this is enabled, um, when the AI is in melee attack behavior, he'll use these animations. Um, if it's disabled, he'll use the default animations that the uh, character has set. And then we've got the use melee combat stance uh, animations and it's struck down here. Uh, combat stance is basically um, while the uh, AI is attacking and shortly afterwards. So for example, um, this is used so that um, say your character is punching and you want him to have his fists up by his face uh, while he's attacking something um, but you don't want him to walk around trying to chase you with his fists in front of his face you'd want him to run after you um, so this can be used to basically set that sort of fists being held up um, while he's attacking and for a short period after he's attacked and then he'll switch back to his uh, melee attack arms instead um, so that can be quite useful for that um, next we've got our only melee when no ammo um, this is for this is more of a ranged setting but it comes up here anyway um, if this is true the AI will only melee attack if it's ranged um, weapons are out of ammo uh, so you can enable that if you want Next is uh, cam melee attack. This is a really important setting. If this isn't on um, and your AI is set up to attack someone, for example, um, if this is not set to true, he won't attack. So if you ever have a problem where he's not doing any attacks, you wanna make sure that cam melee attack is enabled. Uh, then we've got basic melee radius and basic melee collision. Um, this uses a system where instead of um, tracing from his hand um, following an animation instead of doing that which is what the system normally uses it would just do a very basic collision check whether or not the enemy's in front of him if it is he'll deal damage and it doesn't matter whether his animation shows him hitting them or not um, so by default this is off but you can enable it if you want to um, next we have our melee attack animation order and our uh, animations so here we can set whether these animations are played in order or randomly. Um, and in our melee animations array, we've got um, a few options. So you've got your first is your animation montage. So you can see we've got punch here. Um, this this character is actually set up to equip a sword when the game starts. Um, but these are his a smart AI component settings. Um, I'll show you weapon settings uh, after we've gone through these. But um, basically this guy's set up to punch and um, enable melee detection basically tells the system where you want to do a collision trace from. So for this character, he has a socket on his right and left hand um, in his skeleton. And this is basically telling him, telling the system that you want to trace from the right hand um, socket while he's doing his right hand punch. Um, and then we've got the left hand punch and he's doing a trace from the left hand. Next we've got a melee distance, so this is the distance that that trace will go forward. So we've got it set to about 50 centimeters. Um, you can adjust this if you like. Um, you might find that he's hitting something um, without the animation actually colliding with them. So if that's the case, you might want to reduce this value or increase it if you um, want a better chance of the AI actually hitting its target. Uh, we've got melee switch distance. This again is um, another range setting really but um, basically what that does is if the AI is set up to ranged attack if an, uh, if the enemy comes within this distance of the AI and he can melee attack he will switch to meleeing that target instead um, then we've got lower melee animations which is the same as our uh, melee animations here but they're used if the target is lower down to the ground so if, for example, his um, punch or 
left hand punch wouldn't hit the target because it's too close to the ground it will check the lower melee animations to see if there's any animations that should play instead of the uh, normal animations but this is uh, override if um, the use melee animation time frequency is ticked if this is enabled he'll attack um, he'll use his animation time as a delay between attacks so um, however long your animation is that's however long it will be until he attacks next um, then we've got can melee attack while moving if this is true then he will be able to do melee attacks while he's chasing after someone for example um, next we've got our um, melee reaction settings I'm not going to go into that in this video because uh, I have a video just for reaction settings so if you want to know about that you should um, go and check that video out and then we've got our melee trace length so this is a check that basically um, if, if the AI can attack while moving he does a check to see if the target he's trying to attack is within a distance and if it is then he'll attack um, and this is that distance, so 70 centimeters it's set to. Um, so if you find that he's always stopping a bit too soon while chasing someone, you can reduce this uh, value down. Next, I'm going to go through the holdable melee settings quickly. So I'm going to go to our sword. I'm just going to bring this over. Now, I'm not going to go through all these settings because a lot of them are the same um, and they do exactly the same thing. The only difference is that these settings are used when he has the sword equipped so if he was, if he's holding a sword most of these settings get overridden by the sword's settings instead so we'll go in here and we've got our melee settings uh, category um, so we've got um, max number of hits this is basically how many things it can this weapon can hit in one swing so um, by default that says 10 um, then we've got our melee attack anims order, so this is what order the uh, melee attack animations are played. Um, you can see we've got our um, axe attack montage set here for the sword. Um, and then we've got our lower melee animations, which again is the same as the AI component. They're used if the target is lower down to the ground. We've got attack while moving, which is the same. Um, all of these settings are the same and again making sure that can melee attack um, this basically tells the system that while the AI is holding this weapon he can melee attack then we've got in our um, sword we've got our blocking settings so um, this is new in 1.0.1 um, and it allows the AI to block attacks um, from other AI so first we've got whether or not he can attack, uh, block sorry, so that's enabled by default with a sword. Then we have his block chances, so um, this is basically what his chance of blocking a type of attack is. Um, so we have the attack name, and then, um, so 33 means that he has 1 in 3 chance of blocking the attack. Max is 100, which means he'll always block the attack, and 0 is he'll never block that attack. Then we've got block cooldown, which is two seconds, so he can't block uh, for two seconds after blocking. Um, then we've got our melee block animations, so when he does block an attack, he'll play this um, animation. And then we've got blocked attack, melee, uh, attack montage, so this is basically played if he's attacking and someone else blocks, this animation is then played. I'm just going to go back to our um, smart AI settings for a moment. You can actually see I missed this earlier on in the video, but the AI component also has um, the blocking settings as well down here. By default, they're disabled, um, but you can turn those on if you would like. Um, it is important that they do need animations to work. So if I was to enable this and set them both these to 100, for example, um, if there's no animations, then he won't. The blocking functionality won't work so you will need animations set. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys and that's how to actually add um, new types of attack um, as well as how to add 
the um, notify that basically tells the AI when to block. So um, first we're going to go to our um, attack types. So we're going to go to our blueprints. Then we'll go um, enums and then e block type. And in here we can add new um, attack types. We can just name them whatever we like, and then that will show up then in our list down here. You can see our new entry showed up. Next, I'll show you quickly um, how to add a notify that basically says um, that this animation can be blocked. Um, so I've opened up our axe attack montage here, and you can see we've got our notifies here, and you'll notice we've got this block um, notify. So when the animation plane gets to this point, this guy, this AI will alert the AI he's attacking um, that this attack can be blocked. And with the notify selected, you can actually see some of our settings. So we've got directional block, which basically means that um, if the attack target is facing um, our attacking AI, then he'll be able to block it. But if um, if this is true and say he's facing the opposite direction, he won't be able to block. If this is disabled, it doesn't matter which way the person being attacked is being attacked from, he'll always be able to block. So for the most part, you probably want to keep this enabled, but it's worth uh, mentioning if you want to change that. And then we've got um, what uh, attack type this animation is. So you can see we've got our um, uh, different types of attack here. So that's pretty much it guys, um, that's a general overview of the melee system in Smart AI, I hope you find this useful. If you have any problems or questions, feel free to leave a comment and uh, don't forget to join our Discord. So thank you for watching.